Hey guys, and welcome back to Style by McKenz. Today I am doing my favorite YouTube video of the whole entire year, and that is my back to school clothing haul. I have done one of these the last couple of years over on my blog and my YouTube, and this year is no different. I will be a senior in high school, and today I am sharing with you all of my finds for the back to school year. These are all my clothing finds, and later on in the month I will be doing my back to school supply haul. I've got lots of shoes, clothes, um, accessories, things like that to share with you today. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So I do quickly want to mention that my school does not have a dress code, and um, my style at school is a pretty much like dressy. I wear a lot of dresses. I wear heels. I wear rompers, skirts, like a lot of things like that. I do wear jeans a lot once it's cooler out and stuff like that, but for the most part of the first couple of weeks of school I am a little fancier and then as the school year goes on I do transition more into jeans, booties, like nicer tops and things like that. But like I said, I don't have a dress code and I'm a very fashionable person or so I would like to think. So. My day-to-day -day style is a lot fancier than the typical person at high school, which is usually leggings, a t-shirt, and sneakers. So, yeah. So I'm starting off with shoes. I ordered my first order ever off of Payless, and I am so impressed, guys. I actually ordered off of them because I saw that on their Instagram they were having an awesome sale, and I went right onto their website. I was looking around, and I realized that it was free shipping once you spent $25. So I ended up getting three pairs of shoes for $27 total, um, and I got free shipping. So that's an awesome price that puts each shoe at about $8.50, um, which is amazing. So the first pair I got are these sneakers. I feature these in my Back to School Essentials just because I love a sneaker for the school year. That's just easy. You can slip on and go. I love these. They are backless, and that is awesome for me because I do tend to get a lot of blisters on the back of my feet really easily. So I love these. They are just like a gold, almost rose gold metallic that I think will be awesome whether or not you're wearing leggings and like a cute zip up or I'm just wearing jeans and a black t-shirt or something like that. Those sneakers were $12 and then I got these bad boys which were $10 and I love these. I have such a thing for espadrilles. I think that they are super awesome, but they are the kind of shoe that cuts up the back of your foot. So again, when I saw that these were backless, just slip-ons, I thought that these would be awesome. I got them in a size 8. I think that these will be perfect to wear with jeans and just a simple top. And some fun earrings. I love these, and I think that they will definitely be put to good use. I'm always looking for a more fall shoe. I don't like transitioning straight from open-toed to booties, so I think that things like this are the awesome like in between shoe for those couple of transition weeks. The last pair I got were these pink mules and these were also $10. Um, and then there was like an additional 20% off my whole order which is how I got it for $27. But um, I love these. I have two pairs of mules that are this like little heel. They're not even a block heel. They're literally like half an inch. And these are the cutest pink, just like a nice faux suede. I have two pairs from BSW, and these are the most comfortable by far, and they were the cheapest. I love these, just a square toe and I just I love these guys these are some of my favorite shoes to wear and I think that they're super classy I can't wait to wear these some more I do want to throw these into the haul because I actually picked these up in July when they were Target was doing like an additional 20% off the shoes one day and I picked these up but I've yet to wear them I did just pick them up they're definitely more fall shoe but I picked them up then just because they were on sale and they had my size these are just yellow slip-on little mules with like the cutest little ruffle these again are are the perfect fall transition shoe for those few weeks and I know that I'll wear these a lot during baseball season when I'm wearing yellow every day you know things like that I just love these and I think they'll, they'll be super cute for the fall so I do want to try and find another adjective other than cute so we're gonna go with adorable for these booties that I picked up from Target um, these are just like a nice cognac color and I don't have any booties like these I did size true to size seven and a half I do size up to an eight for um, some heels and slip-on sneakers stuff like that but um, for booties I typically am a seven and a half and these fit perfectly I love the little cutout on these these definitely remind me of those Utah bloggers I just think that these are so fun and I know that they will be um, an awesome option for the fall my last pair of boots I actually just picked up 15 minutes before I started filming this video and these are black hunters I wore my um, hunter green hunter boots like it was my job in the spring. You guys know that I'm a baseball manager and just constantly being on the field throughout 
from March to May when it was just rainy all the time and it was mucky and it was gross, my hunters saved me. I wore them all the time. They're super easy to just wipe off and clean. They kept my foot warm when I could wear them with the liners. So someone that I actually knew was selling these for $75 for a pair of brand new black matte hunter boots and two pairs of boot socks. One of them is white and then the other pair is like a black and orange which I probably won't get too much use out of, but I have these white ones that I wear with my green ones all the time. So these were such a steal. $75 for brand new hunter boots is actually insane. I know that I will get tons and tons of use out of these in the spring. And I was actually gonna ask for these for Christmas so that I could have them for spring season, but if I can have them now and be able to wear them in the fall and stuff and the winter when it's snowy, I am more than thrilled about that find. So moving on, I am starting with the clothes now. This is not going to be a try on haul just because there are so many things that a lot of them are similar so we're just gonna quickly go through these I did get a couple of things off of some girl that I know a lot of girls around me have clothing accounts and we just trade clothes you know things like that and I got these packs on jeans they have really cool buttons up the front you guys know that I had a pair of jeans like this a lot they just didn't fit right anymore so I just got these instead she charged five dollars for these and they're super cute I love the two tones raw hems on and then the butt is super cute i love the little pockets on it and um i have the, i just like i said i have these jeans and i love them so i'm really excited about those i also got this yellow wrap dress from her for three dollars and this was from the brand lulu's it's not wrapped right now so you can barely tell what it looks like but um it's just um, like it looks so good on I will you will definitely be seeing this on the blog soon but for now just know that it's a really cute yellow mustard wrap dress I think that this would look really adorable with those yellow mules I picked up I'm not sure if that's yellow overkill but you know it is what it is <laughs> so I am gonna go ahead and talk about all the workout wear that I've found lately just because um, I want to save like the good stuff for the end and I think I have a lot of lot of workout wear here so we're just gonna hop right in. I am a cheerleader. I cheer for about 20 hours a week. I go to football after parties and workouts and practice games and just so many different things and I always find myself needing leggings so just keep that in mind. I don't really wear leggings to school all that often. Maybe once a week if that um, but I definitely wear leggings a ton when I'm lounging around at home getting things done to bed things like that. So the first pair of the that I got are actually not leggings either joggers you guys know that I have a pair of black shorts from this brand and I wore the heck out of them this summer they are from the brand Athena I'm not exactly sure but I got these joggers from the same exact brand for eight dollars and they are just so cute I don't have a pair of joggers but I've been wanting to pair and just because I love the shorts so much and these were eight dollars I decided to give them a go I also got these black 90 degree by reflex leggings which you guys know is my favorite brand from TJ Maxx by far. These are super comparable to Lululemon leggings. They retail for $88 and I picked this pair up for four. They are just black with like a really cool black metallic sheen to them. I just think trendy leggings are super fun and I love playing around with chunky sneakers and a cool graphic tee with this. I think it's a trendy way to still be comfortable when you're at school. So for $4 like TJ Maxx is having the best clearance. So I also I also picked up these black yogalicious leggings and um, I'm not really a yogalicious girl typically but these have really really cool pockets and they are the 7 8 inch leggings which mean that they don't they're not full length leggings but they don't hit right at the knee they're like in between just above your ankle which I think is the most flattering fit and these were $12. I got another pair of 90 degree by reflex leggings and this is my favorite style from them I'm not exactly sure what it's called because the 90 degree tag actually ripped off of this pair but these were six dollars they are um, a more workout material these are again the 7 8 length length and these are just black I can't wait to wear these for cheer and just like whenever I need black leggings you know that happens a lot and then I do have two other pairs of black leggings. The first are those same 90 degree leggings. These are just like the matte pair. Like they have a super workout pair that are really stretchy and then they have just more of like a normal material that you could wear with like everyday clothes. So this is that same pair, um, just the other style. And then I have just a pair of 90 degree that are full length and these I wear under my cheer uniform. These were $8 and these are the best leggings 
This style and length is, again, equivalent to the black Lululemons. I do have one other pair of leggings, but these, this pair isn't black, thank God. I do just have a lot of black leggings because, like I said, I'm constantly wearing them, especially because that is a part of my cheer uniform for specific games like field hockey, soccer, volleyball, things like that. I picked up this pair, and these are, again, my favorite ones. These are, like, the really workout material, like, the cool sheen to them. These are the 7 8 inch, and these are in the color blue fox. I love these, and they make your butt look so good. And I have a really flat butt, so I appreciate this. These were six dollars then I do have two 90 degree tank tops I have tons of these tank tops and I wear them to cheer every day I have cheer six days a week so I get plenty of use out of these this one came in a two pack the first color is just this nice blue this is actually the color smurf blue and then I got a black one and um, I have another black one of this and I just wear it a ton so these re the tank tops retail for $44 and it was $14 for the set of two of them and I got them in a size small. One last workout set and this is from Target. I got this and I did a poll on my Instagram to see if I needed this and everyone responded and was like, you need that Mackenzie. And I agreed. Like I'm not a purple girl by any means, but this is the coolest workout set I've ever seen. I love the sparkles. Like do you just see this? Like I want to move it around so you can see the light. This is a longer cropped sports bra that hits just about midway between your belly button and the end of your bra. Um, so a definitely a really flattering sports bra and then it goes perfectly with the matching leggings that I found. These are high waisted of course so there only is about an inch and a half of skin in between the top and the leggings and then they have a cool mesh midway down the back of them. Again that cool sheen and this whole set together was $16 which is awesome for workout wear. I have one last thing and this was again something that I bought off of a clothing account. This is the last clothing account item and this is a Lululemon tank top. I have never had anything Lululemon before. I've tried like things on from them but I've never actually owned something and she was selling this tank top for $10 for a Lululemon tank top and it is so adorable. I cannot say enough good things about it. It is this comfiest material at the bottom and it's just like a little peplum style with little pinstripes at the top. I thought that this would be really really awesome with just a pair of those black leggings and some sneakers because I like to look trendy when wearing workout wear to school by any means. When I'm wearing workout wear not to work out just to be comfortable I think that this is the perfect top just to be like I'm cute I'm trendy you know I just love it okay. So moving on I am going to be sharing some things that I picked up from Old Navy. The first is this um, t-shirt dress. This is an extra small petite. When I found this I knew I had to have it. It didn't have a tag however, but whenever something's petite and you find it in store it usually means that it was an online exclusive. And online exclusives at Old Navy are marked damaged. Even though they are not damaged, they are just online. So they cannot be marketed at the full price, which means you get an additional 75% off. So I scored this dress for $3.30. I have this in a couple other colors and I wear it all the time. Super comfy, awesome length, perfect. I love that dress and I have it in many different colors. I also scored this white jumpsuit, which was again, one of their damaged items. See, it comes with a damaged sticker, but it's actually not damaged. It will say OE on it, which means online exclusive, meaning there's actually nothing wrong with the item. It's just an additional 75% off because it is, in fact, a different size. So this was a size small petite, $35. I ended up getting this for $8. Just a really cute smocked top and then white cool um, pants that cut at about um, three quarter length to the leg. And just cute adjustable straps. I can't wait to wear this. It was super comfortable and I just love jumpsuits. So I knew I would get a lot of use out of that. The dress and the jumpsuit together were actually um, less money than this black tee, but I had to pick this up because I love this t-shirt and I have it in a couple of other colors. I needed a new black one. It's just like a boat neck. Just It's actually pretty similar to the dress I'm wearing from Old Navy right now in the way it cuts. Super soft. This is from their Lux line and I cannot say enough good things about it. I do have two things from Forever 21. The first is this green suede dress. I was considering wearing this for the first day of school, but now I just think I'm going to wear it the first week because I did place an order on Zaffle and I think that I uh, have what I want to wear in that order, but I love this. It's perfect. I featured this in my summer to fall transition um, outfit ideas and items, and I just think this is perfect. It's so soft, guys, and super, super flattering on just a t-shirt dress, and this um, was actually on sale for... I don't remember, but I know I got the dress and the t-shirt.
t-shirt for $18 total. So this is just a little white t-shirt. I needed like one that wasn't, um, I needed one that had this neckline but wasn't cropped but wasn't full length covering my butt. So that's why I picked up this one. It just hits right above the waist and it's super cute. I like the neckline on it and this was like $7.50. A couple of things left guys, bear with me. This is a black knit cardigan from Target. I love this just from Universal Threads. Every girl needs a cardigan and I've been needing a couple of new ones. This was on clearance and I just love their Universal Thread line. Super soft, good for layering. TJ Maxx, baby. I only have three things and that's a shock, but all those leggings, all of the workout wear except for the purple set was from TJ Maxx. So I scored big, but I didn't get too many like school pieces, if you know what I mean. Um, however, I did get this cute little top. It's like a mix of yellow and tan. This was $7, just a super flattering v-neck. I'm really not one to wear basic tees all that often, but I want to get more into that so that I have pieces that I can transition and wear. Um, I can just switch in and out, make more versatile, and I think that tee is an awesome way to start with that. This cardigan looks like a grandpa cardigan when it's not on, but once it's on, it's so, so cute. I love the sleeves. They're just about three quarter length, super wide, and this is just like a nice chunky knit. I usually don't find good things um, in terms of sweaters from TJ Maxx, but I did find two really cool pockets. And I just love the way this slouches. I got this in a size small slash medium, and it's definitely a little more oversized. I also got this white cardigan from TJ Maxx, which again, I got in a small. This definitely fits like a medium or large. It is very long, covers well below your butt, and then just chunky sleeves that can cuff really, really um, well. I just love this, like look at it. It has like a really cool cut to it, and I think it just slouches off the shoulder perfectly. I know that I will get lots of use out of this and be able to mix and match it with pieces that are already in my wardrobe for the fall time. My last few things are just a couple of accessories, guys and they are all from Walmart. The first pair of earrings that I converted into clip-ons are these rose gold ones. I have these in gold and wear them all the time. You guys know that I have styled them a bunch throughout the summer and they had a pair of rose gold ones for three dollars so I figured I'd pick these up so I could wear them with my rose gold Kendra and my rose gold watch. I also picked up these earrings in they're just gold with like a light pink tassel. These were $4 and I love them. And then I also picked these up with a black tassel, but um, one of them is still gluing on the clip-on piece. Like I said, I don't have my ears pierced, so I do just grab earrings from Walmart, convert them into clip-ons, and then I sport cute little earrings. So I love these and I think they're awesome. With all that being said, you have reached the end of my back to school clothing haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, Please be sure to leave them below. Again, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. This video is just solely because it is the most requested of the year. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.